Hello and welcome to the Flipping and Wholesaling Houses in New York Show. I am Michael Pinter. Where I teach you how to start flipping and wholesaling houses or if you're already doing it, how to grow your business. So I got a question yesterday from somebody who said they've been doing some driving for dollars. They found some vacant houses. They did some research and they found out the owner is dead. So I've done videos on what to do if the owner is dead. I've done videos on driving for dollars, but I'm going to sort of combine them into today's video. So the first thing you got to do when you see a property like that is you need to look at the public records and see who owns it and what's owed on it. Um, it's much easier in Nassau than it is in Suffolk, but you can do it in Suffolk too. The reason you want to do that is because a lot of driving for dollars, you know, vacant, horrible houses fall into one of four categories that I don't want to touch. You may want to touch two of them, but the first two, you definitely don't want to touch. The first ca category is they're bank owned. So the bank took possession of it. It was a foreclosure. That's not a deal, right? You can't buy that at a discount from the bank. They're going to give it to a, an REO, a real estate owned agent, and it's pre pretty much gone. Second category is it's already bought by an investor, either at an auction or from the bank. And that's gone too, right? That's not a deal. The third top uh, uh, category that these fall into is that they are incredibly underwater. So you look and there's a mortgage from 20 years ago that went into foreclosure 15 years ago. And because um, that happens in New York, it could take a long time. 15 years ago, and it was for $500,000. It's probably doubled or tripled at this point in fees and, and, and costs and interest. And you only want to pay $200,000 for that. So that house is way underwater. You can try to do a short sale. Almost impossible to do a short sale with a deceased owner. Almost impossible. It's hard to do a short sale even if the owner's cooperative. So think about how hard it is if the owner's not going to cooperate. Almost impossible. As close to impossible as you're going to get. So that's the third category. Fourth category is a reverse mortgage. Happens all the time in, uh, around New York. Um, properties in reverse mortgage. Almost impossible to get a deal done with a reverse mortgage unless you are in touch with the heir. Because... You don't know what the balance is on the reverse mortgage. You don't even know if it's a deal yet because the more the balance is, I don't want to get into the whole reverse mortgage, but it's unknown. It could show it's $500,000 and the balance could be $20,000 and it could show it's $500,000 and the balance is a million dollars. You just don't know. So if something falls in those categories, it's not a deal for me. Now, you may want to go down that rabbit hole of trying to get a short sale without the, owners, uh, without the owner being able to help you, or you might want to go the, down the rabbit hole of, uh, of dealing with uh, reverse mortgages, but I don't. So you got to do that. You got to do that research first to see if it's worth any time. Now, if it doesn't, if it looks like it's clean, the, the pro property was owned, the property was owned um, free and clear, for example, then you need to find the heirs, and that's not easy to do. So I have a genealogist I use. If you want it, I can. We, I, I hire. Her. She's amazing. Her name's Amy. She finds me heirs. Then, but that does not guarantee you're getting a deal. You have to pay her. Then you reach the heirs. The heirs may not have any interest in helping you. So. It's not an easy situation, but occasionally those deals are home run six figure deals. So it might be worth the effort. That's what you got to do. I know it's hard, but the first thing you got to do is check out if this is possibly a deal or not. If it is a deal, then you might want to pay a genealogist to find an heir. Those are my thoughts on it. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're interested in other ways I can help you, go to howtoflipnewyork.com. If you're interested in coaching, go to coaching.howtoflipnewyork.com. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you like these videos, please click like. The, I really appreciate the likes. The more likes I get, the more people see these videos. It's some kind of crazy algorithm with Facebook and with YouTube. So please click like. It really has been helping. More people are seeing the videos and I can help more people. And I really appreciate that. Uh, what else? Oh, keep the comments coming. This came from a comment. So keep feeding me comments. No bad comments. Ask anything. If it's a simple answer, I'll just reply with an answer. If you, I did a video on it, I'll send you a link to a video on it. And if it's a little more complicated, I'll do my a new video on it. So please keep the comments coming. Thank you very, very much for watching.